Welcome to our channel viewers. Today's educational video is about concretization and aorto cable lip node dissection. This procedure is required for carcinoma of the gallbladder and pancreatic cancer patients. We will try to address all the technicalities about this operation. So brief introduction, gallbladder cancer is staged according to the depth of invasion and extent of spread of surrounding structures. The invasion of higher structures leads to the local unsectability of the tumors. Gallbladder uh, is a unique organ uh, which lacks a mucosal layer and that's the region there is early spread of the cancer and uh, cirrhosal layer is also absent towards the hepatic side. The 5 year survival is 80 to 100 percent for T1 T2 tumors and it drops to 10 to 30 percent for locally advanced T3 T4 tumors. So, early diagnosis and early treatment is required. Historically, uh, the colorectal cancer has been a victim of neglect, and surgeons, uh, famous surgeons like Blalock, uh, were against the surgery uh, in colorectal cancer. But with time, things have changed. Uh, in the present era of, of diagnosis and uh, chemotherapy and vital surgical techniques, we are seeing quite a good survival. But early diagnosis uh, and early treatment is warranted in these patients. And not only consideration, as I said, gallbladder is partially intrapatonal structure. On the liver side, there is no peritoneal covering, but a fibrous. Uh, lining that is cystic plate. Dye injected into the volatile lymphatics that doesn't ascend into the proximal portal lymphatics. The, they goes into cystic and pericultural lymph nodes from there to retroportal and posterior superior pancreatic duodenal nodes from there to celiac, superior mesentric, and intraortocular lymph nodes. Some lymphatics, as seen in the direct arrow, uh, Drain directly from pericoldocal nodes to aortocal lip nodes, and it's an early presentation with advanced uh, nature of disease. So that is the significance of uh, analyzing the aortocal lip node because if they are metastatic, it is a non dissectable disease. Uh, the incidence of this disease, this disease varies according to the race, ethnicity, and area. The India is a high prevalence area with incidence of 22 cases per lakh annually compared to 2, two cases per lakh in the United States. Obesity is a risk factor for both men and women. Other risk factors are inflammatory bowel disease, primary sclerosis, cholangitis, typhoid infection, and polyposis coli. Poaching, gallbladder, cholecystoidary fistula are other risk factors. So, briefly, T1 is divided into T1 tumors are divided into T1A and T1B. T1A is invades the lamina propria, T1B invades the muscular layer. So there is no submucosa, so T1B is directly invaded into the muscle layer. T2 is further divided into T2A and B. T2A tumors invade perimuscular connective tissue on the peritoneal side, that is towards the abdomen, and T2B is towards the hepatic side. To remember, to remember this thing, A is anterior, that is towards the peritoneal side, and B is back, that is towards the hepatic side. So T2B, as you can see in the diagram, T2B is towards the hepatic peritoneal side, T2A is anterior towards the peritoneal side. And T2A, uh, so uh, if we analyze this picture, so T2A has a better prognosis because still there is another additional covering that is peritoneum. Similarly, the same uh, depth and invasion on uh, hepatic panicamal side it is T2B because there is no peritoneal covering and leads to early spread and metastasis of the tumor. T3 tumor perforates rosa and or directly invades liver or one other organ. So T3 is when cirrhosis is perforated or one organ involved. T4 is tumor invades the main portal vein, hepatic artery, or invades two or more extra hepatic organs. So main portal vein, hepatic artery, or two or more. If one organ involved, it is T3. Direct tumor extension to a liver is not considered metastatic. Direct invasion of other adjacent organs like colon, duodenum, stomach, corn, bile duct, abdominal wall, or diaphragm. Still, uh, it is a locally advanced resectable disease, it is not a metastatic disease. 
एज पर एजेसी एट्थ एडिशन द रीजनल लिप नोड आर अलॉन्ग द कॉमन वाइल्ड डक्ट हिपैटिक आर्टरी पोर्टल वेन एंड सिस्टिक डक्ट एट लीस्ट सिक्स लिप नोड शुड बी हार्वेस्टेड फॉर एडिकुएट लिप एंड एक्टमी एंड प्रोग्नोसिस एन वन इज मैट्रिस टू वन टू थ्री लिप नोड एंड एन टू इज फोर आर मोर लिप नोड इन सेवन एडिशन एन वन वॉज डिवाइडेड एज ए मेट्रास नोड अलॉन्ग सिस्टिक डक्ट कॉनवाइल डक्ट हिपैटिक आर्टरी एंड पोर्टल वेन एंड एन टू वॉज मेट्रास टू पेरी आयोटिक पेरीकेबल एस एम ए एंड सीलिक आर्टी नोट बट दीज लिप नोड आर मेट्रास्टिक डिजीज दैट एम वन स्टेटस in gallbladder cancer surgery the r0 resection is only curative uh, treatment available the optimal resection consists of cholecystectomy with hepatic resection and portal lipidectomy the lipidectomy uh, the lip nodes in porta hepatis gastrohepatic ligament and retroduodenal lip nodes should be uh, dissected out external hepatic and bile duct resection may be necessary in some cases The first step in the surgery of gallbladder cancer is aortocable lip node dissection and they are subjected to frozen if they are metastatic the surgery is abandoned as, as the disease status is M1 that is metastatic after exploration of the abdomen that is we do look the uh, metastasis that is on the liver or the peduncle surface or mental the first step for a you to give lip node sampling will be we will take down the hepatic flexure and start the cauterization in the cauterization uh, the duodenum is mobilized till the left portal vein in this video we you can see that we are mobilizing the uh, d2 and d3 part from the uh, retroperitoneal structure that is the ibc is visible uh, in this video meticulous dissection slow and steady is required uh, because uh, if there is any bleeding it will unnecessarily make the field messy transverse mesial colon is mobilized and retroperitoneal structures are defined 